I look at a script, um, first and foremost, I'm looking for a great story. Why do I want to carry on reading? What do I want to tell in this story? And then I look at the character and think, have I played this guy before? Is it similar to something I've done recently? Will it, will it challenge me? Uh, those things come out. Uh, there's other things like the other people in the role, in the, in the piece, the director and the other actors, are they people I want to work with? It's always about the story, really. And not necessarily about the medium either. You know, it can be TV, film, it can be theater, it can be radio. But it's about the script, really, and the story I want to tell. But it's also about challenging myself in the role I've done. Have I done it before? If I'm frightened of a role, I tend to want to do it, really. With regard to The Walking Dead, it's, it's a very challenging show to do. I love it. It's one of my favorite jobs I've ever done. But it is challenging in the sense that where we film it in uh, just outside Atlanta in Georgia. We film it through the summer months and that is, it's very hard, but it's also very humid. And the humidity is what gets you, it's like being hit with a baseball bat. And it's a very physical show. And also there's lots of, uh, there's like ticks that bury themselves inside you. There's snakes, there's chiggers that bite you and seem to love me. Uh, so we're constantly there with our sort of bite cream and sort of looking out for water moccasin snakes and stuff. But it's the same for everybody. And, uh, you know, for myself and the other actors, we can't really complain because wherever we look as guys who have been dressed as zombies and got all the makeup on and they've been there since four in the morning and they've got all this glue on them and all this sort of blood and the flies love them and the ticks love them and they're lying around. So you as the actor who, you know, <laughs> you can't really complain about the heat when you see these guys lying on the floor on an anthill and stuff, so it's, quite, it's all quite challenging. That's, that's from a physical point of view. I think the hardest thing for an actor, any actor, apart from unemployment, is coming onto a film set with one line in the afternoon on a TV show or a film where everybody knows each other and you're to your one day and you have one line in the afternoon that is, I, that's a really challenging place to be. What I do is I get to do second takes, third takes, fifth takes, tenth takes sometimes. Uh, I know my crew, I get on with, well with them, they know me, I get lots of lines, I get lots of chances. To have that one line in the afternoon of a, of a film set, that's, that's the hardest thing I think. And, and so they're, they're the bigger challenges. Preparation of a role depends on the time I have. Sometimes I will be given a role and it will be months before the project is going to film. So I will be able to do extensive research, particularly if it's historical or a real character. You know, I played Gordon Brown, so there was a sense that I had to research him and his life. You know, I played the Earl of Norfolk and the other Berlin girl, so I had to research that in the time. It's important for me to research as much as I can. I will work on backstory all the time, whether it's factual or fictional characters I'm playing. I will work on their backstory and their parental sort of relationships and, and things like that. You know, they're the things that make us. It's about that nature and nurture arguments between any character and how they react to things. The things that make me laugh might make you laugh. The things that make you frightened might make me, me frightened. So I have to find those idiosyncrasies of the character. Sometimes there's physical work. Sometimes there's accent work as well. So you have to do all that before you actually walk onto the set or onto the stage because you want to be forgetting about all that when you're doing the job itself. Well, of course, historical characters you have to be very careful with that you're not uh, making assumptions about our modern life. You know, a simple thing is communication. You know, how we communicate now is so instant. You know, in the past, even in the very recent past, that was not the case. So. You know, uh, you would be looking at someone for Go like Gordon Brown, for instance. And you know, there was times when he dropped the ball, particularly in the leadership uh, crisis, and you felt that, well, why didn't he just text him? Or why didn't he just, you know, sort of get on the phone? And of course, these men have a very busier life than me. They have a different sensibilities to me. So you have to f put yourself in their head. And when you go further back in things like historical Tudor times or whatever, you have to be very careful that even strange things like life expectancy have a, a weight on you that you have to carry. You know, the comfort of life that we have. You have to make sure that your characters that you're playing don't have that sort of surety. And, and the, the expectation of life in the sense that if you say the wrong thing to the wrong person, then that's your head on the block, literally. So, you know, you, 
that fear that you're working in, you have to make sure that that is all about uh, inside you, about the decision making you're, you're making. So I like to read a lot about it. It's where the inner geek in me comes out. That I enjoy that sort of research process. I'm not saying hello to Jason Irons, you can f off. <laughs> Hi, I'm doing this under duress and uh, I've been told that if I don't do it, I will be drummed out of BAFTA. So through gritted teeth, I'm going to say, hello, Jason Isaacs. <laughs>